Victorian Labor has retained the state seat of Mulgrave, which of course was Daniel Andrews' old seat. He gave it up when he announced he was retiring from politics in September. And new Premier Jacinta Allen has breathed a little bit of a sigh of relief, but suffer, uh, Labor suffered, sorry, a 10.9% swing on primary votes. And despite the result, opposition leader John Pesciuto claims voters sent a strong message to the Premier. Don't forget, <laughs> Labor did win. There was a swing, but they still won. He says they sent a strong message to the Premier due to this swing. Take a look. Understand the significance of what's happened here today. We had three weeks and two days to campaign in one of Labor's safest seats. And we've seen Jacinta Allen take a double-digit swing against Labor. I mean, he sounds like he's just had another kid. He's really pumped up. He sounds up. like he's had but, a few shows. Oh, he's, 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 he's really on well. steroids. But, but he forgot to mention that the two-party preferred Caroline was not between Labor and Liberal. It was between Labor and the Independent Ian Cook. <laughs> yes, and there is one thing. There, there are two parts to winning seats. One is peeling votes off whoever the incumbent is, and the second part is giving them a home to go to. Mm. So uh, the first part is definitely happening, um, and the second part needs a little bit more work. <laughs> it's definitely not. It's, it's, a bit like the, um, it's a bit like the, the last federal election, which the coalition massively lost, but Labor mm. didn't massively Correct. win. Yeah. And it was only after it sort of got elected that it started to pick up that momentum. We saw that phenomenal result in Aston. And now, again, of course, you know, some of the wheels are getting a bit wobbly. But the interesting thing in this is that... Um, that Firstly, this was an independent with no sort of big teal infrastructure behind him or anything like mm. that. So this is just a random guy with, you know, who... I think but a very good story. Taking a whack at him. Yeah. But, a very good but, story. but he had a very, very good story great from story. my neck of the wood and a very good sandwich. But, um... But the, um, <laughs> not that they'll let him make the sandwich. Not that they would let him make the sandwiches. So, so I think that's interesting that this is a guy completely out of left field. So it's kind of like a drover's dog, if you like. So a drover's dog nearly, got, you know, got 45% of the vote in... Mm. An electorate is right. I know it incredibly well. It's right next door to where I grew up. The um, the second thing, however, is that a huge number of these votes went to went to the left. Uh, so the ten percent drop in the primary vote. A lot of them went to the Greens, and believe it or not, the Victorian Socialists, are, like they literally just call Terrifying. themselves a Victorian yeah. Socialist, yeah. are up and about in um, Victoria and 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 pulling, you know. You know, handfuls of sort of percentages of votes. Yeah, it is Victoria, and though. It is Victoria, the People's Republic, after all. Um, but the interesting thing that of those 10%, only half of those came back. In a typical election, you know, the 10% of votes that went to, say, the Greens or anywhere else, say, in the Greens, Labor would expect to get about 80% of great. Greens votes, if not more, between about 70 and 90. Um, the fact that they didn't then decide to come back... I mean, it's no surprise. I don't think anyone would expect when someone as big as Daniel Andrews walks off the stage... You, you're going to have some kind of swing You're going to take a hit overall. But there's just sort of interesting little things there. And I don't think... It, the Libs aren't going to win in Victoria for a very, very long time. No. And I think the fact that you saw, you know, John Pesuto look like someone had a cattle prog out of his clutter <laughs> just then, uh, but should have been a moment of him to look like <laughs> he's the guy to take the next step. He's going, yeah. But that's but the problem. Just, that's the problem, though, because it's like he's there gloating about this result and Meanwhile, totally it ignoring... it wasn't even close. No, I mean, and totally ignoring that if they close. actually want to win another election, Kel, they've got to put up a serious alternative government at the last state election. Last November um, was about this time last year. I've still got PTSD from covering it. Um, <laughs> the, the Labor Party won an extra seat. They went from 55 to 56 yeah, seats despite, after everything, everything. Albanese. That's not Albanese. Right. Hey, John, Pesci John Pesciuto's performance of confected enthusiasm is actually a performance of a desperate man. Who knows? He is a dead man walking. He won't be leading the Victorian Liberal Party to the next election. Today, Sunday morning, he had a, a mediation meeting with Maury Deeming. Now, that was private, so we don't know what <coughs> came out of it. But but there's nothing good in, in what's happening for John Pesuto, and he's he's just there keeping the seat warm because no-one else wants to lead the Victorian <laughs> Liberals at this terrible time. But Why other, would you the, want to? The other interesting thing about... I'm sorry, this is where I get my sort of poor man's Anthony Green hat on. But the other interesting <laughs> thing about the Victorian electorate, and again, this is not a win for the Liberal parties, and John Pesuto is foolish for trying to paint it as such, and he would be better off just sort of telling the truth in a clear oh, way that resonates funny. with people. Makes but whatever. Great but, but 
it's a structural problem for Labor. Now, Labor in Victoria used to be a one-man band. It was basically a, 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 charis a, a charismatic cult that was all based around the figure of Dan Andrews. While he was in charge, a lot of interesting things happened underneath, including the party switching from majority right-wing dominated and Dan served at the governor's pleasure to all those branches being wiped out after the expose by 60 Minutes and everything, and then Dan seizing that moment to bring in the federal, um, the federal conference, uh, the federal Labor Party, Party machine to run Victoria. The Federal Labor Party machine is now by a bees proverbial run by the left. And so therefore suddenly Victoria, the second largest state in Australia, flips from being a nominally right to a nom to a yeah. to a to a <clears throat> practically left structure. And now that structure obviously runs on a system of you know, like anyone else, favours and kind of um, uh, confidences and whose man you are, whose woman you are, who do you support, who do you do, like like sort of ancient Rome, if you like, sort of like a patron-client relationship. And all those things have started to kind of... That's all well and good as long as you're winning, but Dan's not there anymore and Dan's not winning anymore. And so the right... As you know, again, Dan thought he could just put a lefty, you know, he got Tim Pallas to switch from the right to the mm -hmm. left in order to become yeah. deputy. Suddenly, that <laughs> didn't look like such a good idea. <laughs> didn't end well for Anyway, the end, piece of resistance <laughs> is that while Labor technically did pick up a seat in that election, it was an extraordinary result. All its gains were not in Labor seats. They were yep. not in traditional Labor seats. <clears throat> they were in seats that were either Lib seats or lib seats that are vulnerable to the teals. Mm. And so in working class seats like Tim Pallas's own, wherever the voters actually turned against Labor. They yeah. still hated Andrews yep. because of what he put blue collar workers through during the lockdowns and, and how much they lost. They lost and money. And it'll, they lost it'll, be a, it'll be a very different situation and now. I mean, Jacinta Allen is not um, Daniel Andrews by any means.